So there's seven reasons that uh, I think are strong fundamentals about real estate. The first one is that it's accessible. Real estate is everywhere. Every street you drive down, every road you go down. Actually, George Burns said years ago, he said that God's not making any more dirt. So you better grab what you can grab right now. So let me ask you this. You drive to work every day the same way. Back out of your driveway, go this way, turn right at the corner. You know, if you do that, you see the same opportunity, right? It gets boring, it gets old. Try driving the other way. Pull out of your driveway, go the other way. Go take a different street and start to open your eyes and see other opportunities. You know, it's accessible, it's everywhere. Real estate's appreciable, goes up in value, organically grow in value. Two, three, four percent a year, depending on the market that you're in. And the other piece about it is it's improvable. So you can force that appreciation. It doesn't just grow organically, but you can force it by putting capital improvements into it. It's rentable. It creates cash flow. It's cash flow, cash flow, cash flow. And uh, it's mailbox money. So who likes to make money while they're sleeping? That's what real estate does. And the power behind that is it's other people's money. It's somebody else lives there, they pay the rent, they pay the bills, and you get to take advantage of that. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. It's deductible. You guys aren't recording this, are you? Uh, deductions, uh, depreciation is the only gift the government gives us. And what happens is when a property appreciates in value, the government depreciates it. There's that spread in between. And you get to write that spread off on your personal income taxes. That's one of the most powerful things about real estate. So when I analyze a deal, I don't even put depreciation in it because that's an extra bonus. And it's stable. It's slow to rise, slow to fall in most cases. And then it's livable. It's sheltered. You know, my dad told me years ago, he said, if you ever go into business for yourself, Go into something that provides food, shelter, or clothing. We've always been in real estate or construction, and shelter business has always proved to be very efficient. Uh, why do people invest in real estate? Because it's less out of pocket to buy real estate. Hey, if you want to go buy a million dollars in Google stocks, how much, how much money do you need? A million. Unless you, got a left, unless you have a margin account three times that, right? But you need a million dollars. If I want to go buy a million dollar piece of real estate, you can do that with 25, 30% down. You can leverage it. It's cash flow, tax write-offs. It grows your net worth. So two things I'll talk a lot about tonight is growing your short-term cash flow to keep up with inflation and your long-term wealth to build a future 